Dissecting the Culture of Prophecy in Westeros, a House of Dragon podcast. In the world of Westeros, prophecy has long been a driving force behind the actions of its characters. From the Ezra legend to the mysterious three-eyed raven, the people of Westeros have always been fascinated by the idea that they can predict their own futures. In the context of the Game of Thrones universe, prophecy often serves as a tool for the writers to foreshadow events and create tension. But what does it say about the culture of Westeros that prophecy has become such a central part of its mythology? Is it a reflection of the society's deep-seated desire for control over their destinies, or something more? Let's start with the Ezer Ahe prophecy. This legend tells the story of a hero who wields a sword of fire and water, said to bring balance to a world torn apart by darkness. But what's fascinating about this prophecy is that it's not just a prediction of a future event, it's also a commentary on the nature of heroism in Westeros. On the one hand, Azura Hay represents the classic hero archetype, brave, noble, and destined to save the world. But on the other hand, the prophecy also acknowledges the complexities of heroism in Westeros. The hero is not just a straightforward good guy, they're a morally ambiguous figure who wields great power and is willing to do whatever it takes to achieve their goals. This ambivalence towards heroism is reflective of the society's own moral ambiguity. In Westeros, the lines between good and evil are often blurred, and characters are frequently forced to make difficult choices that challenge their own moral compass. The Ezer Ahe prophecy, then, is not just a prediction of a future event, it's also a commentary on the nature of heroism in a world where morality is complex and multifaceted. But prophecy is not just a tool for foreshadowing events, it's also a way for the characters to make sense of their own lives. In the world of Westeros, prophecy is often used as a way to explain the inexplicable, to make sense of the chaos and uncertainty that surrounds them. It's a way for the characters to feel like they have control over their own destinies, even when the world around them seems to be spinning out of control. Take, for example, the character of Bran Stark. Bran's journey is, in many ways, a journey of self-discovery, a search for meaning and purpose in a world that has been turned upside down. And yet, it's also a journey that is deeply tied to the concept of prophecy. Bran's powers as the three-eyed raven allow him to see into the past and the future, to understand the intricate web of events that has led to the present moment. What's fascinating about Bran's character is that he's not just a passive recipient of prophecy, he's also an active participant in shaping his own destiny. Through his powers, he's able to see the threads of fate that connect him to other characters, and to make choices that will shape the course of history. This, I think, is a key insight into the culture of Westeros. Prophecy is not just a tool for predicting the future, it's also a way for the characters to take control of their own lives. By understanding the intricate web of events that has led to the present moment, they're able to make choices that will shape the course of history. But what does this say about the society as a whole? Does this obsession with prophecy reflect a desire for control over their own destinies, or something more? I think it's a bit of both. On the one hand, the people of Westeros do seem to be obsessed with predicting the future with trying to understand the hidden forces that shape the world around them. But on the other hand, this obsession also reflects a deeper desire for meaning and purpose in a world that can be bleak and unforgiving. In a world where the Great War is coming, and the fate of the realm hangs in the balance, it's natural to want to know what the future holds. But the people of Westeros are not just trying to predict the future, they're also trying to make sense of their own lives. They're trying to find meaning and purpose in a world that can be cruel and capricious. And that, I think, is where prophecy really comes in. Prophecy is not just a tool for predicting the future, it's also a way for the characters to find meaning and purpose in their own lives. It's a way for them to understand their place in the world, and to make sense of the chaos 
and uncertainty that surrounds them. So what can we learn from the culture of Westeros and its obsession with prophecy? For me, the main takeaway is that we should be careful not to conflate prediction with while knowing the future might seem like a desirable goal, it's not the same thing as finding meaning and purpose in our own lives. In the end, the people of Westeros are not just trying to predict the future, they're trying to make sense of their own lives. And that, I think, is a lesson that we can all learn from.